this feels like it's going to be a very interesting match. There's a l very high level, a lot of experience on the line. Yeah, dead right, Mike, as we welcome you to the last match. Men's gold medal match in the under-21 compound teams competition between Slovenia and Denmark. All six archers have quite a bit of experience on the international scene. As the Slovenians and the Danish team come out, Slovenia wins over Canada, Turkey and India. Denmark have beaten South Africa, Great Britain and the USA. Well, she's rucked up, and rightly so. Mm -hmm. So here we go for the gold medal match. Matthias Fullerton from Denmark, former world number two. You know him very well, current world ranking of nine. He's the highest ranked of all of the archers out there. Tim Jesnik from Slovenia, currently 17th in the world. This is his fourth. World Archery Youth Championships. Incredible record at the age of just 19. It's amazing. And of course, there's Alias Matija Brink out there too. The gold medal winner from 2021 here at this championship. So it's going to be Denmark to start first. It's going to be Bjarnason who starts with a 10, a 19 year old. Silver medalist from the teams, 2019, already winner on the World Cup stage in teams event as well. Rasmus Bramson with the next arrow there for Denmark. And now Matthias Fullerton. Qualified third for the individual competition. He's going to be one to watch. And the individual competition for sure. But there's going to be some archers to watch in the Slovenian as well. Tim Jesnik to go first. Nine. Tia Rozic, the 20 year old, the eldest of the three Slovenians. going to like that one, Mike. Yeah, for sure. That's a, a good hour to start with. And finally, Alias Matija Brink. And that's a 10 as well. It's a solid first rotation by the Slovenian team. Definitely think there's more coming of that from both teams. <laughs> this is more like it from the the six arches, isn't it? Yeah. You could hear Rasmus saying, yeah, even before it hit the target, so he knew it was going to hit there. Oh, Fullerton's just wide. But 
three tens and three nines for the Danish team to start with. Pretty impressive. Let's hope we get scoring like this all the way through the match. Tim Jesenik. This is great scoring. And what we expect from athletes of this caliber. Now let's grab the line. It's a nine. Now Brink. as well so we're going to have a tied scoreline after the first end 57 to 57 it's a pretty impressive scoring from all six of these archers Mike and uh, you'll be watching them all closely I suspect because they, these are uh, pretty much all of your well many of your rivals aren't they uh, for sure not only rivals but also friends like uh, I sometimes uh, play video games with Matthias or like Last week we were shooting the bow, like uh, Alias was shooting my bow, for example, he was throwing out something. So they're like people that I see multiple times a year, like I probably see them more than my own family. <laughs> it's hard to set the friendship aside when you're competing against the mic, do you find that? Yeah, for sure. Of course, like you always want to win, uh, even if it's your friend or not, but it's 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 easier to lose against a friend though than, than against somebody you don't know. or. So, but like friendship is, is very necessary in this sport because you, like, you're so much away from home. Like for example, like um, Matthias, he went to the World Cup in, in Medellin and then straight from there he went to the European Games. And almost straight from there he went to here. So like these athletes like went on the road for like more than three weeks this month alone. So like you need to have friends in other uh, parts of the country, of other countries just to to make it uh, durable. Yes, of course. Yeah, Fullerton winning a silver medal in the European Games last week in teams competition. Three-time winner in teams competition on the World Cup as well. Just like he's hunting for that big individual title, isn't he, Matthias? As you all are, Mike, you know, uh, that's the challenge for everyone, isn't it? It's for sure for everybody. That's uh, the big one. Um, people are trying to, to lead that, and it will be a matter of time that before Matthias will hit this. Like all of these six archers, uh, for sure. It's like, like they have big, big individual wins. Like Tim, for example, became third in, in Vegas. That's probably the hardest competition we have uh, for his compound. Tim Yesnick to go first in the second end in this under 21. Gold medal match. Starts off brilliantly with a 10. Yesnik qualified 14th for the individual competition. Rosic, who's next up, is 40th. So he was down the standings a bit. And uh, Brink, the highest of the Slovenians, 13th. So things not going to plan for Rosic in the qualification. So all these guys too are hunting Olympic. Oh no, of course, uh, we'll be hoping that compound can get into the Olympics one day as we see another 10 fried in by Brink. What do you reckon about the prospects of that someday, Mike? That would be awesome, wouldn't it, if you got into the Olympics? It would be very awesome to for the development of archery in general. Um, I, I see it really happening. Like uh, maybe it's a bit visual thinking because of course himself uh, are a compound archer as well, but that's really like I think it's going to be very good for the for the sport as archer in, in general. Well, Bramson, just uh, these little slight misses. These are the very fine margins in compound archery normally, aren't they? Just one little slight miss can have a huge bearing on the outcome of a match, particularly at the top end. Fullerton gets the Danes back on track with that 10. 
Yeah, those couple millimeters is normally the difference between winning and, and losing a match. Like sometimes it comes down to like literally millimeters. Well, three tenths to the Slovenians in the first rotation. Here's the first miss in the second in by Tim Jesnik. Rosic. Oh, just as you think the Slovenians might be nosing in front, they just come back to the Danes just a touch. It looks like the wind is picking up a little bit again. It does with Brink. Absolutely nailed that one. So four tens out of six arrows in that end for Slovenia. Keeps them in the hunt. The Danes, though, could take the lead with three tens. Janusson starts off nicely. This is good stuff from Denmark. Brumson with another ten. Yeah, he is really feeling like it. He's been calling his arrows, his stands even before they land the target. That's it's really cool to see in these kind of conditions. Yeah. Three from four so far for him. And now Fullerton. Wow, clutch scoring right there from Denmark. Three tens in a row gives them the lead by a point. Very impressive. Now, there is one start arrow there. It's the first arrow in that end from Bjarnason, which has been scored provisionally a nine. So we'll see if that arrow is upgraded. That arrow's upgraded to a 10. That means they'll uh, have a perfect end. So those scores are just being relayed to the shooting line. That has been confirmed as a 9. So they're going to drop back to 115. So it's going to be... A one-point game, 115 to 114. Still anyone's match. Halfway through this gold medal compound under-21 men's team match. Well, don't know about you, Mike, but I'm not going to pick this one. It's very close to call. Like it's, it's very high shooting for both teams, and it's going to be very cool. Well, those new target faces and on the being put into the target. Mm -hmm. As Mike mentioned before, they can shrink in the rain. Of course, the target size for compound a lot smaller than uh, the recurve one, right, Mike? Correct. Uh, we are sh like compound shoots at 80 centimeter target face at 50 meters, while uh, recurve shoots at a 122 centimeter target face at 70 meters. Effectively, if you're like the, yeah. divided by the like the distance to size, it's about the same. Mm, it is, yeah. Now, listen, I've, I'll ask you this question, Mike. What do you like with a recurve bow in your hand? Uh, I um, haven't done it in a very long time, but it's it's not pretty. <laughs> it's not pretty. <laughs> I guess I'm going to ask Gabby the, that same question, but the other way around when she next joins us I tomorrow, can, right? Yeah, for sure. I I can tell you that she should her compote very well. Uh, okay.
Yeah. So the athletes and archers are waiting very patiently. I just saw in the Danish coaching box, uh, Patrick Larsen. He uh, used to be uh, a member of the team of a compound man team in a time with Martin Damswell and Stefan Hense. It was a very successful team back then. They won multiple World Cups, uh, World Championships. It was a very strong team to beat. Well, all that experience being rubbed off on these three youngsters now. And uh, what a wealth of information Larsen can pass on to Bjarnason, Bramson and Fullerton. But let's have a look at uh, the Slovenians now as they uh, look to uh, stay in touch here. Uh, only one point behind halfway through this gold medal match. Tim Yevsnik with the first arrow. Puts the pressure a little bit here on Alias Matia Brink. Needs a 10. Got three out of four in his. Oh, Make that three out of five now. Mm. A real chance here for Denmark. Bjarnason having fun in the yeah. in the rain. A big arrow here from Fullerton. If he can get a 10 here. Two-point lead for Denmark. He's an impressive archer for sure, isn't he? Matthias Fullerton. Yeah. For sure, and I see also that he uh, swapped around from a shooting style. He uh, normally shoots a back tension, and I see that he's now shooting a thumb trigger release aid. Um, probably the windy conditions made him choose uh, that over the trusty back tension. Yeah, it's all about adjustments, isn't it? And uh, when the conditions present themselves. Now, Slovenia need tents here. Rosic. Now well, there's five nines on the trot. And the drop points just keep, they might add up here for Slovenia. No tens in there. That is a little surprising for Slovenia after that uh, third end. Yeah, for sure. That's means if uh, Ramson here and uh, Fullerton get a couple of tens, it'll be a, a nice, healthy margin for them heading into the last end. <laughs> it's another nine, though. For Ramson or Bramson, rather. Now Fullerton. Long hold from him. Oh, he had real trouble there, didn't he? Just couldn't yeah. settle. going to be an eight there for Fullerton. So opportunity missed there by Denmark. So at the moment, 169 to 168. However, there is a start arrow. The fifth arrow there from Bramson. 
I think he's just over it, so I think that's it will be scored as a nine. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I didn't even star it. I've got to say, uh, Mike, when I uh, when I <laughs> put it on my scorecard, but it's uh, on the official scorecard. It is starred. So one sixty nine to one sixty eight is uh, what we've got. So it was tied after the first end at 57 all. One point advantage to Denmark after the second end and a one point advantage to Denmark after the third end. Come on, Danes, let's make some noise. <laughs> you can see Dory enjoying himself and Matthias with his game face on. Absolutely. So last in now of the gold medal match. What drama are we going to get in these last six arrows? Slovenia have not been in front in this contest. But they could still win the gold. Tim Yeznev goes up for the first arrow of the last end, and that's better. That's a way to put pressure on. That's his first end since the second end. Slovenia can get on a roll here. Oh, the ten's undone by that eight by Rosic. with this last arrow and has that lit the line what do you reckon i would call it from here as a 10 but it's very close this can go either way i'll put that as a nine star for now now the artisan well there's no doubt about that one that one definitely <laughs> it ripped the line even now brumson can he follow it up his mate with a 10? Yes. Well, these are big arrows here for Denmark. And all of a sudden, they've got a bit of breathing space. Fullerton again, taking a long time to settle. He walked away shaking his head. Off his last arrow, which was an eight. Oh, he's got a ten. <laughs> Big arrows there by the Den Danish team right there. Three-point game all of a sudden. Wow, well, Yevsnik, that's back-to-back -back tens from him. He's done his job in this last end. Very fine scoring from him. <laughs> oh, this is good. Rosic comes off as eight with a ten. And now, Alias Matija Brink. Can he finish with a flourish here for Slovenia? He missed it. That's oh. a nine. Looks like a high nine, indeed. So 225 is the score to beat. Janison <laughs> grabs the 10 line. Denmark closing in here. 17 points away. There's a nine off Brumson. So a nine will make sure of this, even an eight for Fullerton. Struggled on his last two visits. That was but not this nice. time. Beautiful arrow there from Fullerton. And it's going to be Denmark's gold medal here at the World Archery Youth Championships in the compound out of 21 team's competition 
just a little bit too classy there for Slovenia. But a great match. It looks like it's going to be a three-point game. 227 plays 224. Slovenia did brilliantly to get into the final, but Denmark get the gold medal. Time to party. Well done to Tore Bianason, Rasmus, Bramson, and Matthias Fullerton. They are the gold medal winners in the out of 21 teams competition in compound archery here. Confirmed score of 228, it was in fact, to 224. So a comfortable win in the end by four points, but finished off in some style by Matthias Fullerton. Well, you got to hand it to the Danes, Mike. They were just too good. They were a class above the rest uh, so far. It was a great match to see. Great teamwork. A lot of talking between them. It was great to see. Oh, the Slovenians, though, will come again. I am sure. Oh, for sure. There are, like a lot of talent in Slovenia. And uh, definitely not the last we will see of them.